Okay, so we dug into this electrical here and we knew that there was a problem with the grounding and so we come up here and we found a little rat nest buried in the wall. They had taken these two wires and spliced them together without using an electrical box and it really was not very difficult to just run the new wires up through the wall and over to the fan. We opened up the wall and took the tape off and now you can see that whoever had wired this previously was using crimp connectors and then taped over them inside the wall. Typically they should have just run new wires from the box up into the fan. Very simple to do. So anyway, we're going to eliminate that. Crimp connectors like that over time can corrode and lead to fire. We're getting a little bit closer to finishing up here. Okay, we have the new 12 gauge wiring installed. Going into the junction box there. This is the wire that we pulled out of the wall. Something we call a rat nest because it was hidden right about there in the wall. And yeah, things like that just aren't good. You never want to conceal a um, junction in the wiring, a splice in the wiring. So we have the fans over there now and it's working. We opened up the wall here where the old mirror was and we found a whole bunch of very poorly done framing. It was just basically loose. There was hardly anything holding things in place other than sheetrock itself. We're starting to change the waste arm for the toilet and you can see that previous people have put holes in the lead arm and uh, so there was just some general carelessness with that installation and then also the thing was bent over quite a bit so there may be more damage that we haven't even seen yet um, so yeah we're going to move this over uh, centering it about 16 inches out from the wall so we're 16 or 18 inches we'll decide and 12 inches out from the back wall there is the new location for the toilet bathroom here is finally finished glass doors are installed you can see the pocket in the walls for shampoo and stuff two pockets we got the white subway tile the white octagon tile or hexagon excuse me Here's the bath fan, it's on a ground fault protector, it's all plastic. So yeah, everything is looking really good. Top floor is holding up really well. The marble cut on a subway fashion. Started with 12 inch tile and we ended up with uh, 6 by 12.
lights and that is another hidden wire we found that powers the light there. Okay, we'll fix that. Okay, and this is a old outlet or light switch that was buried in the wall here. And it just happened to be right where we are installing a new light switch for the stairway. And you can see, that's nice, the uh... Oh boy. Okay, that looks good. We'll have to uh, inspect this farther. Okay. This is how we found the wire connections inside of this light fixture. They were just simply twisted together and taped. No wire nut or anything. We have something fishy going on here again. Wires coming into the light switch box with no jacket on them. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Connections outside of the box, wire taped together. Wow. Okay, well, that needs some cleanup. Hmm. Okay, so the wires were not even soldered or wire nutted or anything they were just wrapped and taped just like the can light from the other day so my suspicion is this house has a few rat nests in it so we peel off the wire here let's pull that off Come on, Sparky, you can do it. This is... Should have to turn the power off to this. You know the power? Where's the power? I don't know which one it is. Well, we'll turn off the power until this hall light goes off. This is sobbing. No, it ain't. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Nope. nope. Just twisted. And it's getting brown there, too. Yeah. Okay, so we got to get that fixed up. It's just amazing what you find that people have done in the past. We had more stuff for you to do. Okay. Okay, we fixed the wiring situation. Ran some new wiring. Got a proper ground, proper boxes. So everything is good now. Then, over on this side here, we move to the box up. 
and got rid of all the junk wire and put in real wire. And we installed the new Newtone 110 CFM quiet fan. You can hear it's pretty nice and quiet. What I've found here is the wires, the person that connected this all up, connected um, all the white wires together, which isn't really the correct way to do that because we have a 120 power source in this box and a 120 power source in that box. So the white neutral wires do go to the same place in the box, the breaker panel, and if uh, they are wired correctly it probably wouldn't matter obviously it hasn't mattered for 30 years but what should have really been done here is the wires separated for each of the two circuits now over on this side here the power wire for these lights the lovely 70s uh whatever you call those things um came out through the wall and as you can see the uh, connections were just wire nutted together in the open which uh, they should really be done inside of a box that's enough for today and then uh, you can see this here light where the wiring is just not quite the way it should be Yes, we'll have to fix that. Okay, so I'm going to install a cooling stat on my air conditioning unit. So, uh, for now, I'm just going to try putting the cooling stat here, which is where the factory um, box is supposed to be. And I just checked the box to install the thing, and look at the way they wired this from the factory. They didn't even connect it inside the box. So I am uh, going to put the wires into the box, shut off the power, put the wires into the box. Okay, we are changing this light fixture, old knob and tube wiring, and that is the way they connected it. does not fall under the category of good job. I suspect this one here is exactly the same way.